hello and welcome in today's video we will be learning how to create a slide effect on the user form using either the labels the frames the text box and any other buttons that we use in our designs on the user form so let me demonstrate to you how this works let's click on this this none look out for the slide and then base so let's click on command button 3 again and then command button 4 in subsequent videos I'll be showing you how we can apply this slide effect to our designs to make them stand out so let us learn how we can create this slide effect open a blank new excel workbook and then head on to the developer tab and click on it if you do not have the developer tab enabled here you can right click here and then go to customize ribbon and you'll be presented with this flyout excel options and then you come and check the developer here or also you can come to file click on it go to options and then customize ribbon and then you come and also check the developer tab here and click ok let's click on the developer tab then on visual basics in my case i'm using the file that we created in our last video so if you have not seen that video check it out on my channel in the series user form tips and tricks that is the part two let's insert a new user form L let's hold here and then drag it and also drag it down here a little bit a command button with command button one and then let's take an image okay let's take this image image one and then another one image two okay let me do this and then let's add a picture to the image mm, let's go to the desktop and then choose the Ghana flag Ghana flag Okay, alignment. Let's stretch mode. Let's increase the size and width out there. let's copy and paste and then this time around come to pictures picture and then insect insert the um, nigerian flag okay. so now i have inserted the flag of ghana and then the flag of nigeria uh, okay so these are my two flags that i want to use as my slides if it is not ghana it is nigeria let me click on the two and align them to the top to the top so to make sure that they are both well aligned and then with the user form let's give it a back color let's make it a little bit deeper with that done let's add our first code to the command button one so with command button one
I'm going to add image one and then this image two. So command button one image one dot left equal to one forty eight and then image two dot left should be equal to three fifty. So that's just this simple code. Let's run it to see. Let's click on it. Okay. So with the code, this is what happens now. Let's add another button, making it command button two. This time around, let's make it two. Two. And then let's add a reverse to the code for command button image one dot left equal to three fifty and then image two dot left equal to one forty eight. 148. Now let's run it to see. Image 1 and image 2. So you see, with the click of the button, the position of the two images changes. So this comes first with this, and then this comes to the first with this. So now let me add another button and we call that button 3 let's insert a new button let me draw it out here let's add this code into button 3 so for equal to 148 to 400 ok image 1 dot left equal to slide then image Two dot left equal to six hundred minus slide. Mm, okay. So. Let's run it to see. Next, we have to add a next, next slide. Let's add a do event. Okay, so now there's a slide taking place. Okay. 
uh, we can notice the movement of this line so now you will notice that spacing on both sides are not equal let's reduce this to 350 and let me run it to see okay so now you would notice that the space here has increased then with this let me also reduce it by 200 and then give it the value 400 and let's okay you see that there's a bit of space here and then there's a bit and then they are almost equal however we will have to increase this a little bit if this and this should be the same so let's make it for 20 this is how you can apply slide effect to your designs to make them stand out we'll be using this concept in our subsequent designs so if you know you have found value in this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you and bye bye for now